Ooh, Divine Disguise. Number 23 reduces to a 5. Okay. That one hasn't come up in a while. Let's see what the first little blurb says. It says, some blessings are obvious. The door that opens, the person who says yes, and the instant success of an idea. But not all blessings are instantly recognizable. Some blessings are so veiled that at first thought you might consider them an unwanted development. A concealed blessing is either already at work in your life or on its way. Don't worry if you feel things aren't working out as they should. Soon enough, the disguise will be dropped and the blessed unmasked in all its beauty. Bless, literally a blessing in disguise. Hmm. Blessing in disguise. That's going to change everything. That was a terrible shuffle. There we go. Okay, what complements this divine disguise energy? Delay your past hold you back. South node. All right. Okay, going for this one. What is going on with Virgo? This feels like something that's been carried for too long. Not necessarily as a burden. It's kind of like... Well, I know if, if, you've, if you've ever had long hair and then chopped it all off and you've had that feeling where that weight is now off of your shoulders and although you enjoyed long hair and it looked really pretty and all those things, you just didn't realize that it was a bit of a burden until it was gone. This is kind of what this feels like. Because if this is something that developed in your past, you have no idea the weight that it ha that has accumulated on your shoulders, right? Until it's completely gone. Let's see what is going on with Virgo. Okay, that was weird. Okay, last one. Okay. Nine of Cups, good start. Ace of Cups. I mean, Ace of Pentacles, sorry. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Ten of Cups. Wow. Hmm. So I'm going to read this as you, Virgo. This is your person, and this is the situation. The situation is ideal. A wish granted. Hmm. And it looks like your person here is reflecting on the past. Could be stalking your Instagram. Um, Page of Pentacles could sometimes be someone looking fondly at your photos. Recalling things of the past. But what's very clear here is that you are faced this way. And you don't really see them. They were happy in the past with you. And it looks like you are distracted by another partnership. Okay. Let's dig in. That's what we do here, right? Okay. But there's a new beginning here. Yeah, let's start with the Nine of Cups. Let's expand on that, please. Ten of Swords. Five of Cups. King of Pentacles, the Magician. That one wanted to come out too. Two of Swords, 
seven of wands. So someone here blocked the re-manifestation of this connection. So someone's glad it's over and someone's sorry that it's over? This is peculiar indeed. Let's 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 dig more. Let's let's clarify your side first. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Gotta love that Earth energy. Nine of Wands. I have a feeling I'm going to have to put all the cards out and read it all at once because it's going to be like, whoa. Queen of Wands, King of Swords with the Nine of Wands. Two of Wands. Oh, both? Okay. Ooh, Empress, Ace of Wands, Emperor. So someone wants to bring this sucker back around for a reunion. It's just getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Nine of Cups on the bottom there, too. Wow. Hmm. I don't see you as the type to block a stable cy cycle that goes every go goes against everything that an earth sign is. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. There is a thing you stop fighting for. Possibly. Excuse me. <clears throat> Possibly with a fire sign. And then ha got your sights set on your divine partner. This is... It's almost like you didn't... This is a weird reading. Okay. <laughs> it's almost like... You wanted this person to be your empress, and that just wasn't it. Like, forcing, that's what it is. <laughs> forcing a comfortable situation to keep on going, but you see that there's this struggle to hold it together, almost in the middle of the cycle. There's the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, that's a complete cycle, okay? And this isn't the Ten of Cups, this isn't happiness with this person, it's the Ten of Pentacles, it is stability. Whereas you have passion for this empress here. This may not be a person. This is Empress Ten of Cups. This may this could have been a person that is from your childhood. Wow, lovers at the bottom of the deck just saw that. Like, um You've been going through life and this is the kind of person you've been meeting. But you've been holding out for this idea, for this, for this idea, this passionate beginning with your life partner. This, this is incredible. There's a reuniting here. This doesn't feel like someone, this empress doesn't feel like someone that you had a bad ending with. It's like you knew each other when you were kids. Something harmless, like you were childhood friends or co-workers at your first job out of high school. It's like somewhere so far back there. You may not even realize it's them, but they know it's you. 
Let's keep going. This is getting weird. <laughs> Let's expand on the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Seven of Pentacles gets the Seven of Pentacles. So you both are reflecting on the past. Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, Page of Cups, King of Cups. Hierophant on the bottom. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, so you're not messing around. <laughs> this is, okay, so this, God, this is beautiful. <laughs> I love it when this happens. Okay, so the comfortable thing is dead. In this process, you have discovered what it is that actually makes you happy and you're looking now for this commitment with this empress. So you do know. You do know who this person is to you. That's the truth. That is the truth. This is something that you want to win bad. Okay. To bring in this heart-centered offer into this person. And this is officially a twin flame connection. Congratulations, guys. All right. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so that's the blessing. You don't see yet that the ending of this thing is the blessing. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Yep, Hierophant. Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So, bringing in this communication, there's been some resistance around this in general, but it is going to happen. Six of Swords, moving through that. This connection, big on the big on the Taurus energy there. Bringing, bringing in this new offer of love to this person who is the cat's pajamas. Okay. Ten of cats. Let's expand on that, please. Page of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Hermit. King of Wands. Queen of Swords, Hangman. I need some fighting. <laughs> hmm. So, this person, this Empress, knows it's been rough where you've been. But it's like, it, it, it became like a normal feeling, and you didn't know how rough it was until you left it, if, you, if you've already left it. So here, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Hermit. King of Wands, Queen of Swords, Hanged Man. So, this feels like the motivation is like upping on your part once the discovery hits who she is to you, that this needs to get out of the way. It's like your choice becomes very clear. It's like before your vision was fogged. Now you can see exactly what's going on. And this with this other person has got to go. Okay. Hmm. There's one thing that I want to know. What is really blocking? This manifestation, this magician, two of swords, seven of wands. What's really the block here? Who's blocking this? Page, nine of pentacles, sun. Six of Cups. Emperor again. Wheel. Six of Swords. Okay. really is a resistance to happiness here. Uh, 
I'm glad it's the wheel and six of swords because there's there, there's, a, there's a stubbornness of not wanting to move out of the thing that's been comfortable. Okay, and it's like the, the one thing that's, the one thing that's almost like illuminating the wheel is this connection, this nine of pentacles, sun, six of cups. That's, that's, that's a returning soulmate, soulmate return. That's the only thing that's pushing you out of this comfort zone. So what's blocking you is your comfort zone. Okay. Let's see. What's going to happen with this Queen of Wands? She's walking. She's out of here. Yep. She's going to be pissed and a little fearful. Maybe even immature. <laughs> but she's gone. 